Today, I want to celebrate the little girl who lives two houses down, who would knock on our door as soon as summer arrived, or even on a sunny day in the middle of winter, with a handwritten ad that said in messy scribble, lemonade for sale, free delivery, and our babysitter who runs a summer day camp and a before a busy holiday camp, and a school is canceled for some reason, so drop your kids off at my house camp, because she is saving up to pay for her year in seminary. Today, I want to celebrate the women who balance businesses while supporting their husbands who sit and learn, or those balancing businesses while their husbands work a crazy job too, or balance businesses while their husbands desperately search for employment, or balance businesses with no husband at all. Today, I want to celebrate the woman who just gave birth but is sending an email from her hospital bed because as she brings life into this world, a product launch is about to occur. And so as she pushed out her baby, she cried tears of joy, took a sip of water, and then hit send on that MailChimp monkey button. And the woman who just a few weeks before sat in the same hospital but on a different floor where there are no balloons or little baby hats but scary words like chemo and radiation who watched her husband fight and in between the nurses and the doctors coming and going. She jumped on calls and delegated to her team because there were customers and vendors and it was fourth quarter and the world keeps moving even when a spouse is sick and especially then she needed to worry about making sure the bills got paid. Today, I want to celebrate the woman who did carpool on Monday morning and then met with three clients, then ran to the dentist with child number one, then met four more clients and ran to do carpool for child number two, then dropped off child number three at basketball where she smiled and said hello to the other moms and then ran back to the car so she could jump on a conference call and it's not even dinner yet. Today, I want to celebrate the woman who just went on date 261 and is so emotionally drained she just wants to curl into a ball and hide. But instead, she has to run three more scripts and debug the app because the user functionality isn't where it should be. So she washes her face and goes into the office and powers through. Today, I want to celebrate the woman who failed a dozen times and has remortgaged her house twice but kept trying and now just hired her fifth employee because one day, something just clicked and she figured out how to pivot and how to make the numbers work, even though it meant swallowing her pride. Today. I want to celebrate the woman who completed a successful Series C round of funding and when the investor had the chutzpah to say to her, how do we know that you're not just going to take this money and go shopping? She said, without missing a beat, I am. My friends are all outside in the limo and we're heading straight from here to Barney's. Today, I want to celebrate every woman who has ever had a dream and has reached for it, even in a small way, because from the beginning of time, when the first woman was created and named Chava, because she was Aim Kolchai, the mother of all creations, it was then that it was determined that we, the women, would be the creators, the nurturers of families, the builders of businesses, the makers of dreams. And like Miriam and the women who left Egypt with nothing but a toothbrush, but also somehow packed their instruments because they knew inside their bones, they knew there would be reason to dance and sing, and heck, you need instruments to do that. They knew how to believe, they knew there were better days. We know that too, even when it's dark and we are experiencing our own Egypt. We push hard and hold on because that's what we do as women. We are believers and optimists and we know there will be light. And like Hannah who taught the Jewish people how to pray, we know what it means to storm the heavens and get stuff done. And we know we can't do it without him. And like Sarah Schneerer, the greatest social entrepreneur of all, who made sure no matter what that Jewish women would have the magic of learning, even though that was something that had never been done before, we too are unafraid to push new things and we too invest in our daughters. We are all on our journey and it is beautiful, but it is also complicated and messy and scary. But if you are in this room today, you have harnessed this power, this magic of being a Jewish woman and you have used it in remarkable ways. Whether you are building your community or a family or even yourself, your DNA is wired for this. We can all tap into the strengths for Chav, from, of Chava and Miriam and Sarah Schneer and so much more. There is a deep legacy of women who came before us and paved the way for this journey, no matter what it is, no matter what it can be. We are Jewish women. We were born for this.